Hi friends, welcome back to Vegan Afternoon with Two Spoons. I am making a really fun and easy treat for you. This is for my chocolate peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. These Rice Krispie treats are a healthy twist on a childhood favorite. It's vegan, gluten-free, and kid approved, and really there's only five ingredients for making this recipe. We're looking at peanut butter, maple syrup, a little bit of coconut oil, and of course, our brown rice crisps. This recipe is brought to us by One Degree Organic Foods. We're using their sprouted brown rice crisps. I love these brown rice crisps. I use them all the time in cooking, but they're also really good in cereal with a little bit of blueberries and some soy milk. Some of the reasons why I love this brand is because it's certified gluten-free, it's non-GMO, and it's organic. You can feel really good about feeding this to your kids. The brown rice crisps are also sprouted, so it's really good for digestion. So we're gonna start with our peanut butter mixture. We're gonna start by adding the peanut butter, coconut oil, and vanilla. And we're basically just gonna melt this into like a liquidy mixture. I really find that the coconut oil really helps kind of loosen up that peanut butter and makes everything nice and silky smooth. So we're gonna need three cups of brown rice crisps for this recipe. And now we're just gonna add this to our peanut butter mixture. We're gonna stir this to combine. And this is sort of acting like our marshmallow base in a typical, like traditional Rice Krispie square. But of course ours is a peanut butter version. This was always like my favorite thing to make when I was a kid. Just looking at this in the pot, there was no way that it was gonna get into a baking dish. I was gonna eat it all like this. Okay, so this is looking really nicely combined. So now we're really just gonna transfer it to our baking dish. I have lined mine with some parchment paper. You can also spray it with coconut oil. The reason why I like the parchment paper is because I can kind of lift up the flaps, uh, lift it up and out, and then it just makes it easier to cut later. Now we're gonna spread this out so that it's a flat, even layer. Okay, so you can actually finish this recipe here and chill it out in the fridge for like 30 minutes to an hour, but I really like to top with a chocolate coating. It just really elevates these Rice Krispies. Peanut butter and chocolate is such a classic combo, you can't go wrong. If you are adding the chocolate topping, I'm still gonna chill out the Rice Krispies while we're waiting for that chocolate to melt. I'm gonna melt my chocolate. I'm gonna do this in the microwave. So I've got a cup of chocolate chips here. We're gonna add this to a bowl and we're gonna throw in some coconut oil. And we're gonna melt this in the microwave in 30 second increments. Usually it takes three or four tries until it's melted. So this is looking nicely melted. I'm probably gonna give this one or two more goes. Keep a watchful eye when you are melting chocolate because it might look like it's not melted on the top, but underneath there's a lot going on. So that's why I like to do it in 30 second increments so that I can stir, kind of check it out and make sure that I'm not gonna burn it. Okay, so this is nice and melted and soggy smooth. So one of the reasons why this chocolate is just so glassy and luscious is because we've added in that coconut oil. You can melt chocolate without coconut oil, but this is how you achieve that really nice glossy drizzle. So let's grab our Rice Krispie treats. We're gonna pour this melted chocolate on top of the Rice Krispies now. In order to get that chocolate spread around evenly, I'm just gonna lift my pan and tilt it. Okay, this is looking so good. I don't even wanna wait for it to chill, but we have to. I'm gonna let this chill out for 30 minutes to an hour. I really just want that chocolate layer to be nice and cold and hard before I cut into it. Okay, so we're gonna check on this. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Yes, that is cold. Yay. Okay, let's chop this up. See how easy this comes out with the parchment? I love it. Oh my gosh, see. That two-tone layer is just so beautiful. I love that big chocolate top. I'm gonna use a really sharp knife to do this. You can even score the top if you want like a perfect cut, but I'm just gonna go for it. And let's sprinkle with some flaky sea salt. So there we have it, my chocolate peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. As you can see, this recipe was so easy to come together. Really simple, minimal ingredients, wholesome ingredients, and definitely a family favorite. Everyone in my house loves this. Now for the taste test. I'm so excited, I freaking love these. 
Oh my God. The best Rice Krispies where you're ever gonna eat. It's crunchy, peanut buttery, it's chocolatey, it's salty. You can't go wrong with this combo. And if you like them, make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. Bye. So good.